Guys, welcome back to Gary Gaming TV, and welcome to Cattle and Crops, the farming experience. Uh, yep, we are going to have a look at Cattle and Crops, I've had this for a while, hardly played it because of my old graphics card, it basically ran like a bag of giant. So, <coughs> what I'm going to do is, we're going to have a wee run through of a mission or two on this, only about 30 minute video, just have a look at it, and then we will see if you want to do a let's plan it now obviously this is work in progress but it's impressive I have to say uh, you've probably watched other people's videos on it but I thought I would chuck mine up here <coughs> as I do do farming sim and stuff like that and Ramt has been doing a let's plays on it on his uh, streams so <coughs> as you see it doesn't look too bad you get a character for a start off which is cool uh, Look up here. This is our mission get to your farm. <clears throat> this bit takes a while, I don't know why. Creating the actual content for the mission. So, as it says, this is early access. But uh, it does have masses potential. This is what I'm expecting. Well, I'm not saying this. This sort of thing is what I'm expecting from Farming Sim 19 when it comes out. Um, this level of detail in the vehicles and the ground especially. <clears throat> which you'll see hopefully on um, on some of these things. You know, the fact that your fields can get puddles in them. You have mud you can sink into. You know, and it's properly physics. Think of it as mud runner. Uh, but farming. So, uh, and again, sorry for the voice, guys, if you watch the, my Lexic Gaming Mouse video, I do have, uh, baby flu, as I'm calling it, because <coughs> the wee man has had, uh, coughs and sniffles and snotty nose and that for the last, uh, week or so, as there's a bug going about, and obviously with him coughing, sneezing in my face, <coughs> he's giving it me as well, so, uh, oh, here we come with a tractor. So you're going to have to bear with me on that one. I was hoping to actually get the controller plugged in, but I forgot, so... Right, get out, son. It's my tractor. Now, if we go inside, first things first, the eye see in this is pretty flipping impressive. You've got your wipers, your front wipers, your windshield to open it and close it. I believe I was open. Parking brakes, four wheel drive toggles, <coughs> toggle orientation so this thing will spin round to back end. Again, you can knock that open. So it's a bit like the IC in um, Farmington, but a little more detail. Working lights. Front working lights, so all the switches are pretty much there. Like as you can see, you can wind your window down as well, which is really cool. <coughs> Even the ignition on and off, so that sort of thing has impressed me. To be fair, you can do it from the outside as well. Like you've got all this here for it. You see, the you slider, so you can actually open and close the window and that to a certain degree so if we go uh, where's the left door there's the left door right if I do that look doors open slightly further along you go the more it's open so that I think to me oops let's probably close it but oof <coughs> it's great attention to detail some of the sounds did a bit of work on still Check the sound for that because it might be a little high. We'll see what about 60s like. Should have asked Rampy what he had his sound not to be for. That should be okay. <coughs> I think. Oh. So, yeah, the steering is not actually too bad. It is a. Uh, 
progressive on here, like. I would have liked to have got my controller plugged in, but maybe for the next video. So there's a good bit of sound from the inside. Indicators, hazards. Uh, oh yeah, you can see them on the bottom. Where are we going? Off this way. Only trouble is with this is where the brakes are a bit on and off. Oh, he slides like mad in, isn't he? <coughs> I quite like this ghosting. Oh, that's where the progressive steel is. This ghosting's quite nice. I think it's only for the missions, like it's not for the actual game game. You know, you're not gonna be getting this ghosting every time you need to connect to something. Oops, a daisy. Right, there we go, connected. And the detail on these models is amazing, like. If you look at this as well, look, you can actually turn the box to whatever you're where you're facing. Lift it up and down and stuff. So the detail is epic, really is. So yeah, looks really cool. And if you hit F8, it actually gets rid of the entire hood. Which is really cool as well. So uh, yeah, we've got that. So where do we have to go now? Uh, gotta go to the farm. So you can change his gear up, he's pretty cool. And all the models in this are gonna be really highly detailed apparently. What am I going the wrong way? Yes, I am. I mean, as you can see from this. And it's really well detailed. So this is the sort of thing we've got to look forward to. I'm impressed. So there's a lot of stuff to do in the game at the minute. A lot of missions to do and stuff like that. Um, so you know, even as a I don't know what they charge you for it, 30 quid or something I think on Steam. Um, you know, it's worth it now, to be fair. Obviously when the full game comes out, it's going to basically be like a farming simulator, but just, in my opinion, higher fidelity. Uh, this is going to be the story citizen of farming simulators at the minute. Um, especially with things like the field deformation, which you'll see in a bit. Um, and I'll explain that when we get to it, because there's actually quite a lot. It's quite involved. Oh, wiped him out. Sorry guy, brakes aren't brilliant on this. <laughs> now, <clears throat> a lot of the guys that actually do the mods for Farming Sim have actually made this. Um, so, it's going to be interesting to see what FS19 is. Because uh, that's just been uh, announced again. I need to do a video on that. But um, well, that's going to be really interesting as well. Performance in 19 and what they can uh, do for it. I just wish the brakes weren't as harsh as they are. Right, so what have we got now? Oops. Uh, da, 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 da. So, on slurry wagon, the sewage treatment plant supplies us with one today. You also get the need of fertilizing plant. So, we've got to fertilize and we've got to get in the case. Now, the trouble with the case is the sound. The modeling looks brilliant. I mean, look at that. It is beautifully modeled. There's no denying it, like. It is gorgeously modeled. And look, you have to get in the right side as well. I can't get in from this side of the tractor. 
So you have to go around to the correct side and hop in, which I think is pretty cool. <clears throat> and again, in here is fully controlled. I'm not that down because I am tall. Let's just steer it up and down. Put your door. Ignition, hazard lights, all that sort of stuff. Four wheel drive. And there's your beacons on that, which is quite cool. Um, your driving lights is a cycle, so I would actually prefer it if you could turn them on and then there was a button for like high beams, low beam, you know, high beam, normal beam, which there should be, and I'm hoping they can add that in because that would be immense. For the back window. There we go. And uh, another thing which I really like as well the mirrors, fully adjustable, up, down, to left, and right. Which again, I love. That one you can't for some reason, but uh, <coughs> interior lights on and off, and they're actually not too bright either, which is good. Again, all this can be controlled from here, and they can be put onto your quick slots. But I actually prefer the, this control panel on the right here because you have a little more precision on doing stuff. So, anyways, we've got the engine going, windows open, uh, we'll crank the sunroof. It is a gorgeous day. And away we go. Now, if you listen, which way am I going here? There's a deep rumble to this tractor. I don't know what it is, but it's annoying as hell. And it needs to go. Um, I don't know where it's supposed to be tyre wear or something on the road, but if it is, it doesn't go anywhere when you're on the grass. So, they need to, I think they still need to look at the sounds on the vehicles as well, to be honest, anyways. Not as bad inside, but you can still hear it. So I think they do need to look at the sound jet on this, but uh, back. Again, the only access they are getting, they're like. <coughs> There's a lot of work. The AI is what I think is going to be impressive in this game. And you'll see that in a future episode. Whenever they're uh, following you and doing work and stuff with you. and you can tell them to drop stuff off and so the AI is going to be very impressive in this game even the vehicle AI is going to be impressive when they get it done I don't remember this story place being so far away again if you looked at my uh, Lexip video if it's up yet uh, again you can see how cool this would be. You could have your joystick set up to be like a joystick on the console there. So you could push the joystick forward for it to drive forward and stuff like that. To be really sweet. To this, <coughs> now there was a thing for manual attach, but I don't think it's uh, active yet because, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, if I hop out here a second, you can actually see look, you can manually open and close these. Uh, now I have actually tried to use the pipe uh, at the minute I can't so 
I'm assuming the uh, the manual hoses and stuff is actually in at the moment. Oh, I'm making a sorry, I had this perfect before, huh? So I'm actually playing this um, as a muckabout on a different uh, profile. This is going to be my uh, let's look at slash let's play one. There we go, fully attached. So. Yeah, that noise is ridiculous, isn't it? So we go up here, and break on, select slowly, start. Now you see the tube actually reaches across to it. So I'm assuming at some point you're going to be able to get out and you know, manually shove the tube and stuff like that, which would be pretty cool as well to be fair. I'm making sure this is full. Bosh. Right, let's go. There's your manure out. Looking manure. Now the beacons, I've got to say, need a bit of work. All right, need a bit of work. Right, we're looking good. Again, brilliantly detailed piece of machinery. Loving it. All clear, let's whack it across. Now I actually found out something interesting on here. And I'll show you when we get there. And again, it lights up to show that it's on, which is really cool. The field is up, just up there, I think. Yeah, you can just see the yellow marker look. Most of the controls are similar to farming simulator, so it'd be easy to pick up and get into. To be honest. <coughs> and you will be able to customize this UI, by the way, as well. It's just not in the game yet. So, now watch as I go to the landlord. See, you got ground deformation. Now, I'll explain that while we're going. So, X to so unfold it. field of it. Now it says V to lower it but if you do that watch it dumps it really deep into the ground. Now <coughs> that doesn't help you driving and it's a dribble it doesn't have to be that far in so I manually set it. I think that should be about right. And then we press B, and if you press T, you will actually get your cruise control. These, which is actually pretty good. So, the ground deformation. This will depend on the weather. 
if it's a nice warm day and the ground's really dry, it ain't gonna do that much you know, digging in. But if it's been pissing it down and the ground's really wet and there's puddles everywhere, you're gonna sink in quite a bit. You can get stuck, you'll need pulling out and stuff. Mud thrown everywhere. So it's gonna be really, really interesting. I think multiplayer um will be fun on this if you're having to help uh, get each other out of the mud and stuff. Uh, also if you drive too quickly it will tell you. Uh, I'm assuming the um, missed a bit there. I'm assuming the uh, the cruise control I've got automatically sets the speed to whatever the vehicle you know the, the equipment requires. So if I overlap this a bit You will see. Excuse me, I need a drink one second. Oh, that's better. So if I overlap this, you see, look, there's puddles turning up. Because there's a lot of liquid fertilizer going down. So it's creating puddles because it's building up. <clears throat> Which I think is brilliant. You see them just up there. The attention to detail on this is very high. So in my... Uh, farming sim's farming sim like, but in my opinion I think it's going to have to pull it out of the bag for farming sim 19. Just to see what they've got. detail is really nice, I do like it a lot. Let me just put the brakes on there. See? You can see the wee puddle there, look. Because I've put so much stuff on. There's another puddle. So I think it's really cool. I think that's really nice attention to detail. <clears throat> and at least you know the field's getting well done anyway, don't you? See? Big puddles of slurry look. And again you can get out, check everything. See, there are little bits of, uh, <clears throat> you know, manual attachment and stuff on it. They're just not at all uh, on at the minute. Because it's really well detailed. Look at the welding on the tank there and stuff. And the wheels and that. <clears throat> so it is impressive. Anyways, let's keep going. So this is going to be a quick half an hour video of doing the rest of this field off camera, so maybe it's something. And we'll just work our way through the missions as we go, maybe streaming at some point. Um, so keep an eye out for on my Twitch, see if I took a stream up a bit now and again. I think um, Rampy says he's something like 20 odd hours or something in, and there's still loads of missions to do. There's even season 2 now. You can do more stuff because there's cattle, there's harvesting, there's planting, there's so much you can do already like but obviously it's just missions, it's not a free free play like uh, it's gonna be, you know, you're not running your own farm or anything yet which I can't wait for but just the the detail of the puddles where it overlaps I think it's brilliant it's little things like that I really like, I, I love playing a game and seeing the finer details in things Little things I like, like raindrops, your wipers moving it, you know, just, just the fine attention to details of things I love in games. 
Obviously the graphics are not nice and this does need a little bit of work I think in the terrain part of the game. Um, the vehicles and the, <coughs> the actual land and stuff is gorgeous but the trees and the hills and that need a little bit of work I think. And the towns and that just need a little bit of uh, a little bit more fleshing out. And at least we get proper tram lines in this because I'm assuming this would uh, knock out any crop you put in, so that would be cool. Oops, missing a bit there. But I'm assuming you can have all your GPS and all that stuff on it as well. <coughs> at least I would hope you'd have all your GPS not on it. I don't see why you wouldn't. As you can see up there, it's got your <coughs> your time of day slightly overcast. Uh, I, I think the time, the hours there is a bit goofed. I think. <coughs> Another bit some bats, like sixty XP for this mission and stuff like that. So, or you can drive through the bushes. No plants or herbs or berries were hurt during the making of this video. Or cute little furry animals either. <coughs> but as you can see, you're chucking mud up and just the detail there as you look out the back window. Actually, a really good view out of this. And again, if you wanted while you're cruising down here, you could adjust your uh, mirrors. Was that quite fun? To see that, or even to see the end where you're going, like. Did I guess a bit that right? Oh, I wasn't far off. So I can actually imagine me playing this quite a lot inside, you know, in the cockpit view. Because you do have such cracking visibility out of these. And you can't spin your head look all the way around. You do have to go left and right. So the ground looks really detailed from here as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, you've got your interior lights. Don't really need them on light, but see how I do on this one. I reckon about that. That's a bit better. Some midges off light. More like that line there, maybe. Yeah, that's a bit better. But obviously, your vehicles will get muddy, and you know, hopefully, you get the opportunity to clean them and stuff. You know, I'm hoping it's going to be a lot like farming sim, just as I said before, you know, a lot higher fidelity. Oh well, cock out of this one, didn't I? So there you have it guys, that is <coughs> the first video on cattle and crops. Hope you enjoyed it, I will rattle the rest of this off off screen. And hopefully the next mission will be the next video. Thank you for watching, guys. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And please check out my other channels. As I said, I may do some of this on Twitch as a stream. Uh, keep an eye out on that. And, uh, yeah, 
If you click down below, guys, there's a few links to click. One for Star Citizen, uh, as well for Overclockers if you're buying any equipment. Um, uh, I think that's about it, down there. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Love you loads. See you later.